I'm in Bath and it's a gorgeous sunset over there and the church, the cathedral bells are ringing at the moment um, and it's all lit up, it looks really pretty so I'm just going to head down there now and uh, see what I can find. I'm really not a city girl. I feel very uneasy in crowds, especially at night. Add Christmas to the mix and this is definitely not my cup of tea. But surprisingly, I actually enjoyed my little 90 minute excursion. I've got to walk back somewhere up here, I think. There's some twinkly lights in the distance up that hill. <laughs> Nearly there. Just a little bit further. Yeah, it's steep. Wow, this guy's running it up here. Okay, a little bit further now. Just a little bit further. Good morning, still in Bath. We're on our way to the prison and thought we'd come along to a place called Two Tunnels. But on the drive here, we spotted this amazing valley with mist and it's uh, stunning. Take a look at this. Thankfully the fog cleared and we found one of the two tunnels. It was a spur of the moment decision to walk all 1,672 metres of the tunnel. That's just over one mile. Opened in 1874, this was a key route on the Somerset and Dorset railway network. Trains carried coal, mixed freight and passengers down it. It was, however, the longest tunnel in the UK without ventilation shafts at the time. Today, it is now a popular tunnel for cyclists and walkers with a music and light installation called Passage, which greets you midway through the darkness. Okay, so that's really a bit freaky. So we're just over seven, well, we've just done a thousand meters. And uh, there's just a load of leaves on the, <laughs> on this little section here, it's a bit freaky. So I thought I'd stop and film that. For around 90 years, steam trains would have passed through here. You can still observe soot on the walls and the ceiling. It was a thoroughly interesting experience walking through here, but something important was brought to our attention. We were hungry, but there were no pubs open on a Monday. Time to fire up the Kelly Kettle. Where I'm sat is actually the site of an abandoned railway station at Midford.
time to pack up and go to prison. This is Shepton Mallet Prison in Somerset. At the time of its closure in 2013, it was the oldest prison in the UK, dating back to 1625. It's also famous for being the most haunted prison in the world. As part of my wellness journey, I wanted to feel what it must have been like as an inmate and capture that in photos. Some of the original cells were later bricked up, but through a small hole in the wall, you can clamber in and see what it would have been like centuries ago. Once you've seen one cell on a wing, it's copy-paste as you walk along the corridor. I anticipated that I would take many photos of such a run-down, abandoned establishment. The photos would look great, I thought, but what really took me by surprise was having empathy for the inmates. Prison just feels wrong. I never would have imagined this would dramatically shift my perspective. I'm grateful I've kept this place open to the public because you never know how profound it can change someone's way of thinking. Coming up next time, I make no attempt to blend in with my surroundings as I find a location to cook up lunch on the kettle. What could go wrong?